Boy, are these tumultuous times that we're living in. It is just amazing to me. I got up again this morning and went up the street, just going to run by the store and see if there was anything on the shelves. And when I got there, it wasn't open yet. They changed the time to make it later so they can get more product on the shelves. But the line was from the door all the way down to the end of the shopping center and around the corner and up the street. Blew me away. Again, second time I've seen this now, and I wish I had my camera because I, I would have loved to have taken a picture to show it to you. But the thing I really spotted was fear in people's, people's eyes, fear on their faces, fear in their actions. And I want to talk to you a little bit about that today in your morning cup of inspiration. What can we do about this as Christians? Well, you know, the, the Bible gives us some specifics, and I want to talk to you a little bit about what we can do as Christians. And one is, Love your neighbors by protecting your neighbors. Now, my neighbors, they're older than I am, so I give them a call when I'm going out to see if I can pick up anything for them. And it's funny enough, I got a younger neighbor across the street who just called me today saying his wife was going out and couldn't they pick up anything for Deb and I. It's just amazing that we're all trying to look after each other. And the Bible tells us in Mark 12, 31, it says, love your neighbor as yourself. This is no commandment. There is no commandment greater than these. And that's the truth. Love your neighbors as yourself. We need to take care of each other during this time. The second thing I'd say is don't be fearful. God does not want us to be fearful, but be responsible. You know, and that has to do with washing our hands like we're supposed to whenever we, I go out and I come back, even if it's out in the yard, I wash my hands again. I have some sanitizer there when I need it. And the main thing is being responsible and know what I'm doing. If I'm out if I have to go out, I keep my distance. I, I, I've even worn a mask here because everybody's wearing masks, masks here now. But we're doing the responsible things to be careful as to not to spread this virus. And the third is, is to um, this is what love requires from us during this season right now. And that is what in John 13, 34, and 35, where the Bible tells us a new command I give you, love one another, and we've heard this before, as I have loved you, so you must love one another. Be, or by this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. And that's what it's going to take during this time, not to be fearful, but to love everyone as you would love yourself. You treat them like you would want to be treated. If somebody needs help, lend that hand. Now, it could be the other way around. I'm considered a senior citizen. We all are. We're at that age. And, and I know many of you are too. So if we, you need help, pray that God will send help your way. He will. He'll, he's he's going to take care of you. You're a child of the King. But pray that somebody will come your way, that he'll send somebody to look after you, to, to get things for you at the store, to, to make sure you're all right too. We're doing that here. We're praying for you daily. And, and Terry and Dan and I have been, been conferencing back and forth and, and emailing back and forth on on. And now the importance now more than ever to keep you in the front of our prayer list and daily. And so I want you to know that, that you are on our list and you are right there. We are praying for you daily. But share the love with other people. Do what you can for them and be safe. But comfort them at this time too. And you don't have to be fearful. God does not want us to be fearful. He wants us to be responsible. Hope that bless you. I look forward to seeing you again for another Morning Cup of Inspiration. Have a wonderful day, everyone.